Hello. Good evening, everyone. Uh, so last time we played, uh, we were doing some stuff with Blue Stacks and Clash of Clans. Come to find out that the Blue Stack program not very good because it makes you pay two dollars per month for a service, or you got to start installing like random apps. I don't like that. So I found this thing called Andy. We're gonna fire that up here. Let me get my auto window out of the way. Andy is a true Android operating system. If I can get it over here. Um, basically, it's a virtual machine. So it's Android inside your computer. Uh, give it a second to boot here. Mm. All right, there we go. Now we're all booted up. And as you can see, I've already downloaded the game. Uh, okay, maybe. There we go. Clash of Clans. So inside this window is where we can automate as well because we're still doing the same thing. Ah. Looking for. Wait a second, I already have an account. What? No. Oh, whatever. Anyhow, use Andy instead. Let's get out of there. Yeah, I just want to shut the VM down. Close. Done. Um, so, on Autowit, uh, we were showing you how to play penguins in the arcade. I found another, another game called Ice Fishing. And, hold on a second. Got to log in off screen. Come on, come on. Come on. There we go. So, get this fired up. It's going to be loud for a second, so watch your volume. Do, 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 do. Lots of people want to do my friends. Mute, mute. Done. Okay. So we're just going to head straight over there. Uh, this little icon, Ice Fishing, goes into the lodge. Click over here. Inside you go. Do you want to play? Yes, I do. Play. You can look at the instructions if you'd like. Basic idea. Lower your fish, or lower your worm, bring it up, click, you get a fish. So what I thought is, ah, I could do this so much better with an automated system. So I did. Um, close. Done. Got 12 coins. Nice. Uh, nope, wrong auto window. So here is my program. And this is a fully automated bot. Um, when it first starts, set your hotkey F9 to exit the game. Uh, exit the bot if you need to. Uh, first things first is we call start game. Start game comes down here. It clicks beside the door a couple times, so you move around. That way we can loop this once we get back out of the game. Uh, then it clicks into the door. It asks, do you want to play the game? We click yes. Uh, it asks uh, play or instructions. We click play. And then it's going to click above the ice to get our, our line out of the water. Once that's done, um, we do a pixel search for... Um, the color of the fish. The fish is like this orangey color, which is, it works out to our benefit because to get one ups or to get an additional worm, the label is the same color as the fish. So it'll click that as well. So you'll get your one ups. Um, what we do is we move the mouse down to that pixel. We wait for a hundredth of a second. Then we move back up. Um, by the way, this isn't foolproof. If there's a jellyfish above you, you'll shock yourself. If there's a shark right next to it, there's little stuff. We could make it better. We're not going to. Um, also, our search area is just the very center. We don't want to look all over the screen. We're just looking at that one spot. So that's what our bot is. And that'll continuously loop. Um, the way we check to see if the game is over is there's a dialog box that'll pop up. We look for a white pixel on the bottom right, which should be water. And we look for a white pixel on the left. If both of those are white at the exact same time, either A, two fish happen to be in the exact same area and their eyes are in the exact same pixels that we're searching for, or that dialog box has popped up and we need to click end game. Either way, this works. So once we find the end game, we run a command or we run a function called exit loop. Exit loop is simply clicking collect coins waiting a couple of seconds, clicking done, and then we're back in the lobby. 
at which time we come back up here, we do start game all over, repeat the process. So drag this off. As you can see, we're in the lobby now. And I'm just going to hit F5 and let it run. Looks like somebody just stepped in front of us. That's okay. Would you like to play? Yes. Clicks on play game. Clicks down, clicks up, and away he goes. Clicks a fish. Uh, by the way, I had to put a delay in there because it wasn't going fast enough for the fish. Like, it, we'd go down, pull back up, and it wouldn't. the animation wouldn't render first. So... Oh, it looks like you missed it a couple times. It looks like I'm getting a little bit of a delay. It could be because of the flash on the screen. But he's still picking them up. All right, so I'm going to pause it, let this run for a little bit until it gets to the end of the game. I'll show you what the loop does. As you can see, he's still just plugging away here. We're up to 47 fish so far. And it's gotten kind of dangerous. You got crabs, you got sharks, you got all kinds of stuff, and he's just zipping in between all of them. All right, we're getting pretty close to the end here. The average is like 60 to 63 fish. 62, 63. Zoop, 64. Now our bot should detect the very end as soon as this big fish crosses and restart the game. Hands off. Collect your coins. Click done. Click. He walks over. Click in front of the door. Click the door. Jump back in. And ready for round two. And off he goes a second time. And this will continue to continue to loop for as long as it's running. Um, the only thing that would kick you out is you get disconnected. Um, it gets stuck on a dialogue screen, like maybe it stepped in front of somebody. Anyhow, F9, we're going to quick, quickly quit out of that. And that is my penguin fishing bot. Hope it's been fun. Uh, I know it's been kind of a short night. I'll do something cool with some other stuff. If there's any games that you want to see me automate, uh, or if there's any task that you'd like me to automate, um, leave me a comment. Leave me some kind of note. Let me know. Bye.